Dragon's Dogma 2 has arrived, but beware of potential pitfalls that could jeopardize your progression and even disrupt your entire gaming experience. In this video, we'll highlight common mistakes in Dragon's Dogma and offer tips on how to steer clear of them. If you find this information useful, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Dragon's Dogma content. Selling Greatsword and the Arcastaff from Trevo Mine One critical mistake to avoid in Dragon's Dogma is selling the Greatsword and the Arcastaff obtained from Trevo Mine. Both items are crucial for completing the Vocation Frustration Quest, which unlocks the Warrior and Sorcerer vocations. These items can be found in chests within the mine. If you visit the mine during the main quest line before accepting the Vocation Frustration Quest, you may inadvertently sell these items. Should you lose the Two-Hander Greatsword or the Grievous Horns Arkistaff, either by discarding or selling them, there's no way to retrieve them. Even if you return to Trevo Mine, the chests will remain empty. The scrap vendor in Chest Point Rest Town also won't have these items unless they were specifically stolen from you. Once sold to a vendor, they're gone for good. However, there's still hope to complete the quest and unlock the vocations. You can purchase these weapons from a specific vendor in Checkpoint Rest Town accessible by traveling on an ox cart, for example. Keep in mind that some of these weapons come with a hefty price tag, so consider your budget before making the trip and purchase. Giving items to hired pawns In Dragon's Dogma, pawns play a crucial role as supportive characters who accompany and fight alongside the Arisen. There are two distinct types of pawns, your own main pawn which you create and customize, and random pawns encountered during your journey or by entering a rift stone. You can freely give any item to your main pawn without fear of losing it. When your pawn is dismissed or dies, all items it carries are instantly transferred back to your storage. However, it's important to note that equipment pieces equipped on hired pawns, such as weapons, and armor do not transfer back to the storage. Therefore, it's advisable not to equip items on hired pawns to ensure their safe return to your inventory in the event of dismissal or death. Not swapping your hired pawns. Hired pawns and dragon's dogma don't level up alongside you during your travels. Only your main pawn gains experience and levels up as you progress. Consequently, it's advisable to regularly swap out hired pawns to maintain effectiveness, especially as you and your main pawn face increasingly formidable challenges. This ensures that you have access to pawns whose levels and abilities are better suited to confront the dangers you encounter on your journey. Going to Masquerade During the Day the Stolen Throne is a pivotal main quest given by Captain Brant in Dragon's Dogma 2. Brant tasks you with delving deeper into the mystery surrounding the False Sovereign. He proposes infiltrating a masquerade to confront the imposter directly. However, it's crucial to note that the masquerade only takes place at night. Entering the building during the day will trigger attacks from the guards, potentially causing a bug in the quest. Even if you return during the correct time for the masquerade later on, Guards may still attack you due to this bug. Therefore, it's imperative to time your infiltration carefully to avoid complications in completing this quest. Carrying too many camping sets Camping sets in Dragon's Dogma, too, are not depleted after use when resting. Therefore, you only need to carry one camping set with you at a time. While your camp can occasionally be raided or even destroyed, this is a rare occurrence. To prevent this, it's advisable to clear the area of enemies before resting. By doing so, you can typically avoid the need for a new camping set unless your camp is specifically targeted or compromised. Not enhancing your gear. To increase your power in Dragon's Dogma, prioritize upgrading your weapons regularly at different vendors by enhancing them with crafting materials. This strategy not only boosts your effectiveness, but also saves you significant amounts of money as you won't constantly need to purchase entirely new gear. By investing in enhancements, you can continuously improve your weaponry without constantly draining your funds on replacements. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and enjoyable. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you could take a moment to hit that subscribe button below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up by hitting the like button if you found it helpful. Your support really means a lot to me, and it helps me create more valuable content like this in the future.